Well, why don't you and the girls warm up with the jam session? Okay, suits me. Let's take it, girls. I knew I was going to play my trumpet some way. Some of the most powerful players that I have ever heard were women jazz players. It was unusual for any musician of that age. The fact that she was a female was even more unusual. When you put the horn up to your lip or in your mouth, that was it. They would not call you. When I was substituting for a man one time, and the leader wanted to keep me, and all the men in the band got together and talked the leader out of it. And that's what happened in a lot of places. The white world was completely unaware of us. Not only we were told, but we knew that we were the best. But we couldn't get that point across because we couldn't play the places that we wanted to play. It was almost like a given that we wouldn't hire a female drummer. I did everything that I could possibly think to do to be a good player. And just because of, of my gender, to hear these dumb comments was so aggravating. Did you consider that you were working under a handicap to try to make a profession of being a jazz pianist as a woman? A journalist came over and he said, what's it like to be a woman composer? I said, what's it like to be a male journalist? I remember the women who were really visible to me at that time. It was like Carla Bley, and Toshiko, Joanne Brackeen. These were the women who I saw who were out there. She would write for Tommy Dorship, or Benny Goodman, or whomever. After she'd written it, pow, she went right back down. All the, the things I've done to get to where I am in the music, very little of it has had anything to do with being a woman. You want to be good anyway, but if you're the girl in the band, you have to be.